Well, Lincoln residents sounded off today on a big project plan. It's for a 20-story building in downtown. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris joins us with more on that. Joe? That's right, Rod and Megan. It's a $30 million project. Supporters say it goes along with the downtown master plan. Opponents are concerned it gives too much to developers. On Monday, the Lincoln City Council heard testimony on the Lead Place Residences project. It would put a 20-story multi-purpose building in place of where an Applebee's restaurant used to be near 11th and Q. The building would house a restaurant, office space, and several floors for apartments. Floors 5 through 20, 16 floors, are for uh, about 41 two- and three-bedroom condominium units. It would also get 100 parking stalls from the city. Lead Place LLC says the project applies to several components of the downtown master plan. It provides a, uh, an additional approximately 40 housing units uh, in downtown Lincoln. Certainly that's one of the emphases of uh, the downtown master plan to include all types of housing opportunities in the downtown area. It's a $30 million project with $25 million coming from private investment and the rest coming from TIF funding. The council will have to decide whether to approve the agreement and authorize the $5 million in TIF funds, but some who testified had reservations about the project. I, I get it that a lot of that TIF funding is going to be paid for with businesses and their taxes, which of course, as we all know, businesses never pay taxes, they just pass it on to their consumers. And if you don't believe that, maybe a business class might be good for you. You're doing the developer a favor. He doesn't have to build a garage. The garage is built. You're giving him, uh, well, selling him uh, 60 spaces, and I think they should, we should charge a premium for that. Uh, again, you're giving up, well, our public's right to park there. Now the council will vote on this in two weeks. If approved, Lead Place LLC says they will begin building it this spring. Joe Harris, thank you for the update on that.